Now, the rest of the story. In the annals of Western lore, no real-life cattleman or cowboy was ever more celebrated than Henry Hooker. Henry C. Hooker. His was the big uh, cattle fortune. Many of the legends about cattle drives began with Henry Hooker. Hooker's Sierra Bonita Ranch in the San Simon Valley of Arizona used to be a desert oasis for the wealthy. Famous people came there to ride, to breathe the fresh air, to share for a while the cattleman's way of life. Separating the myth from the man, in a case like Cattle King Henry Hooker, is sometimes a difficult task. But the story you're about to hear is true, all right. This is about Hooker's first trail drive from Hangtown, California, across the Sierra Mountains to Carson City, Nevada. And you're going to hear the rest of the story. As a young man in the 1860s, many years away from his celebrity as a cattle baron, Henry Hooker ran a hardware store in Hangtown, California, and one night Henry's store burned down. He rescued $1,000 cash, nothing more. Now, it just happened that at the time, the Comstock load was booming. Better than 60 miles in a mountain range away was the thriving infant mining capital of Nevada, Carson City. Like many boom towns, Carson City had to import its food. Folks there had gold and silver, but they couldn't eat gold or silver. They needed food. So here's Henry Hooker back in Hangtown. His business is gone. He's sitting on 1,000 idle dollars. He's living smack dab in the middle of a livestock belt. Now, I know, maybe you have anticipated Henry's next move. He took all of the money he had, and he bought all of the livestock he could get his hands on, and he announced that he was going to drive this new herd across the high Sierras to Carson City. Everybody warned him against it. Some called him crazy. And the journey ahead was indeed a treacherous one. It is not recorded precisely how many head Henry was driving when he started out. But $1,000 at dirt, cheap hangtown prices meant a lot of meat, and at Carson City he could sell his herd for 10 times that, maybe 20 times. Henry used dogs on the first trail drive. The herd behaved itself through the lowlands, up into the mountains, past the snow line, but then one day. One day after they had made it beyond the summit, the herd came to a precipitous drop-off. The dogs urged them forward. Henry spun round to see what was happening, and $1,000 worth of meat almost spilled over the edge into the gorge. But it did not. It did not. Henry Hooker and his herd eventually made it to Carson City. And there he sold the lot at $5 a head, which meant a handsome profit for him. And Henry took that money, and he bought his first Texas and New Mexico cattle. He started his Arizona ranch. And now you know. The, well, no, you don't. No, you don't. You remember that steep canyon... Henry's herd encountered in the Sierra Mountains. You know why they didn't fall in? Because they flew over it. And if you could hear the ghostly echoes of Henry Hooker's first trail drive, they'd say, head them up, move them out, get them turkeys. Turkeys? Turkeys. That's right, cowman Henry Hooker could never have cashed in on cattle had he not once upon a time begun the accumulation of his fortune by driving a bunch of turkeys over the high Sierras to wealthy but hungry Carson City. And now, partners, you know the rest of the story. <laughs> 